Welcome back to the channel everyone, Crypto Take over here coming back with another Bitcoin cryptocurrency video for you today. We're taking a look because CNBC just came out with a new article uh, that MoneyGram uh, is going to be allowing crypto investors to cash in and cash out uh, of their crypto holdings. So interesting article here, we'll take a look at it. I think MoneyGram was the same people that had teamed up with XRP not too long ago. Um, there's money order, money gram, something like that. Uh, Bitcoin right now hovering at about 55,600. We are starting to see just some more sideways movement. Uh, no price discovery yet uh, to the upside or downside, uh, just kind of hovering in our range right now. So with that being said, folks, let's go ahead and jump on over into the video and then we'll take a look at the charts here in a second too. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that we all can stay updated each and every single video that we make on this channel each and every single day as the crypto markets continue to rally through 2021. And don't forget that we have our private trading group page if you want to join us. Links in the description box below. You just need to make sure that you have a Discord username um, to get access to all those private posts. Uh, we basically just use pay Patreon as a payment processor. Um, so now taking a look, uh, you know, MoneyGram, it does look like has teamed up with the cryptocurrency exchange CoinMe on a feature that lets people buy crypto with cash or withdraw it from brick and mortar locations in the U.S. Financial service firms from PayPal to MasterCard have been made a number of moves in the crypto space. The growing acceptance from the large institutions of crypto comes amid a wild rally in Bitcoin, Ether and other digital currencies this year. MoneyGram will let people in the U.S. withdraw their cryptocurrency holdings in cash, marking another step from mainstream financial institutions toward acceptance of uh, nascent digital currencies. The money transfer firm said Wednesday it had teamed up with Bitcoin Exchange and ATM operator CoinMe uh, on the feature. In the coming weeks, new and existing CoinMe users will be able to buy crypto with cash or withdraw it from thousands of MoneyGram brick and mortar locations in the U.S. The companies plan to expand the offering internationally in the second half of 2021. The innovative partnership opens our businesses uh, to an entirely new customer segment as we are the first to pioneer a crypto to cash model by building a bridge from CoinMe to connect Bitcoin to local fiat currency. Alex Holmes, MoneyGram's chairman and CEO said in the statement, financial, service, financial services firms have been increasingly making moves in the crypto space. PayPal now lets use US users trade cryptocurrencies and use them to pay at millions of its merchants. MasterCard said it would start supporting selective cryptocurrencies on the network this year while Visa now supports payment settlements in crypto with the US dollar backed token USD coins. Meanwhile, Tesla Square and Micro Strategies are among the firms that have adopted the unusual strategy of using company funds to purchase Bitcoin. Tesla made $1.5 billion bet on cryptocurrency earlier this year, and its holdings are, were worth about $2.5 billion at the end of March. The growing acceptance from large institutions of crypto comes amid a wild rally in Bitcoin, Ether, and other digital currencies uh, this year. Bitcoin, the world's largest cryptocurrency, is, over 900, is up over 90% so far this year. Um, though it is down around 50% from its all-time high at about 64,000 set in April. Uh, while the second biggest coin, Ether, has risen over 470%, there has been growing concern of potential speculative bubble in the crypto market. However, Dogecoin, a digital currency that has started out as a joke in 2013, is a whopping 10,000% year-to-date. MoneyGram and Western Union are two of the most popular wiring services in the U.S. Western Union has yet to made an, a public announcement of whether it is support crypto. MoneyGram entered the partnership with blockchain startup Ripple in 2018 to pilot the cryptocurrency XRP and cross-border payments. However, the two firms were tied up holds after the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Okay, yeah, and so it does look like MoneyGram has put that partnership on hold with XRP, but now they have teamed up with CoinMe. Uh, to allow withdrawals of crypto, um, you know, with the MoneyGram, uh, you know, uh, kiosks and everything like that. So, very interesting article, folks, uh, that, you know, just starting to see the more widely accepted adoption um, when it comes to being able to withdraw or buy crypto too as well. Um, so a lot more people are going to be now involved with this uh, moving forward. And, uh, you know, it's going to give people an incentive to go maybe spend their money and spend their crypto too as well. So we'll see uh, jumping on over into the charts and go ahead and get it started over there. 
All right, folks, so taking a look at Bitcoin right now on the daily chart. Uh, let's jump on over into our daily, see what's happening here. Money flow still looking relatively uh, thin right now here on Market Cipher. Uh, Bitcoin right now hovering at about 55,400. Um, so still just kind of seeing some sideways movement as of right now. Nothing too major happening, uh, you know, uh, in the past day or so. We're seeing just some more sideways movement. Uh, Market Cipher, uh, definitely money flow still moving out to the side. Uh, we're starting to see these kind of Christmas tree patterns start to form over here. No big uh, anchor waves, mostly just like little bitty trigger waves as of right now um, on the Market Cipher. And let's see, if we kind of continue to zoom in here, we can take a look at our candlestick patterns. We are holding support above the 21 EMA as of right now. Um, that is a relatively good sign. Let's make sure that we can stay above that 21 EMA. If not, we're looking for the 100 EMA as support. Um, but as of right now, it looks like we are holding, um, trying to hold above the, uh, you know, $56,000 area. And uh, I'm sure we'll see some fluctuation between price since then. Um, our 100 EMA is sitting at about $51,000 $51, um, if we get a little bit more of a sell-off. Uh, overhead resistance is still right at about the um, $59,000 area, $58,000, $59,000, somewhere right around there. Uh, let's see if our higher time frames. Um, we were starting to see some, um, some nice little uh, pivots back to the upside on some of the higher time frames, but it does look like we are starting to see a little bit of a rolling over period happening right now too as well. On some of those higher time frames taking a look at the six hour even our smaller time frames are starting to roll over as of right now market cipher on the six hour um, signaling us a red dot here too <clears throat> as well um, so i'm thinking more likely we're probably going to consolidate out in this channel here um, right in between uh, 50, uh, 52 thousand dollars and about 50 58 thousand dollars somewhere right around there in that channel um, until we decide a break in one direction or the other um, I'm looking for more consolidation out to the side um, before we get our signal on our hash ribbons indicator. Um, once we sign once the signal happens on our hash ribbons indicator, then the show is on the road, folks, and uh, um, there's no looking back after that. So, <clears throat> you know, this is a great time to continue to, to, to uh, dollar cost average into some of your favorite cryptocurrencies, uh, you know, as well as Bitcoin too. But um, you know, I do think that we're probably going to see just a, a little bit more consolidation out to the side. Also, looking at our daily chart here, uh, one thing to also take note of is that we do have this uh, support trend line that uh, held us at support at our last uh, little sell-off that we had. Um, so if we kind of consolidate out to the side um, and we hold support on that trend line, we're looking for possibly a bounce from there at around the end of May, May 20th or so. Um, so let's just be patient here in the markets and uh, continue to possibly, you know, accumulate um, before we get that buy on the hash ribbons uh, and, and then make a further high after that. So uh, hopefully this uh, helped you out, folks. If you all have any questions, don't forget, hit just message me on Discord. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that we all can stay updated. Check the links in the description box below if you all want to pick up Market Cipher. There's a link down there to help support the channel with the 5% off do, uh, discount code too available for you. And then also we have our private trading group page which is available um, and we use patreon as a payment processor just make sure that you have a discord username so that way you can get signed up and get access to all of our private posts um, so with that being said folks i'll see you on the next one cto signing out peace